Well, welcome once again to MathDoctor.net. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about triangles, and we are going to talk about a couple of theorems about triangles. Now, the word theorem might be new to you. It looks kind of like the word theory, but it ends in an M, a theorem. And a theorem, that just means that something that you can prove. And when you, get, uh, when you get probably to about 10th grade math and you take geometry, uh, you will actually prove some of these things. So if you don't, uh, if you don't believe me today, uh, well, there will be a time you can prove it. Uh, and the two theorems we're going to talk about is the triangle angle sum theorem and the triangle inequality theorem. So the triangle sum theorem, the triangle sum theorem, don't you like my blackboard? The triangle sum theorem, that just means that if you take a triangle and you measure all three of the angles, and add up those angles, you will get 180 degrees. So uh, again, I'm not a very good drawer, but let's say uh, this top angle is about 40 degrees. That looks like about 40 degrees, right? Uh, this angle down here, yeah, that's a little bit bigger than the other one. Let's say that's about, uh, let's say that's about, 60 degrees. That's a 60 degree angle there. Well, if that's true, then this last angle is going to be 80 degrees. And no, it doesn't look that way in my picture. But if you really drew a triangle with 40 degrees up here and 60 degrees down here, that would be 80 no matter what. Because the angles always add up to 180 degrees. That's all the angle sum theorem is. The angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Uh, or to put it another way, the sum of the angles of any triangle are 180 degrees. So that's the angle sum theorem for triangles. The triangle inequality theorem. Let me read this to you and just, uh, and you're going to think, oh, it's confusing. I don't understand what's going on. The triangle inequality theorem says that the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the other side of the triangle. Now, what does that mean? Well, that's something you learned in kindergarten. And now it's just being put in unnecessarily complicated language. Because you learned in kindergarten that what's the shortest distance between two points? What's the shortest distance between those two points? Is, is that the shortest distance between those two points? No, of course not. Is that the shortest distance between those two points? Of course not. The shortest distance between any two points is always going to be a straight line. Or, now that we're in geometry, we have to say the shortest distance between two points is a line segment. Because pretty much any time you use the word line in normal conversation, you're really talking about a line segment when you get to geometry class. So that line segment is the shortest point between two points, or the shortest distance between two points. Well, all the triangle inequality theorem is saying is that that's true. Because let's draw another point up there. Because you think to yourself, Okay, if I want to go from here to here, how do I get there? Well, I go along the shortest line. So you ask yourself, well, what if I decided to walk up here and then walk back down? What if I, if I wanted to go from here to here, what would happen if I went up here and then came back down here? Would that be shorter or longer than going right here? Well, you knew that in kindergarten. You knew that to get from here to here, you would go along the straight line. You would not go up here first and then come back down here because then you would be forming a triangle. So, in other words, this, the shortest distance between two points is always less than this long distance around the triangle. So that makes common sense, doesn't it? So, um, 
so now that you know what the common sense is, when you see some of these questions on the, on, on your test, uh, you'll, you'll be able to figure them out if you just stop and think about it and not worry too much about the exact language of that theorem. Because all that theorem means is that uh, uh, you know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line segment. So, for example, you might get a question on your test saying that you have these, you have the, you have lines like this. You have one that's, I, I guess I should put units here. We have three inches, five inches, and nine inches. If I have line segments that long, three inches, five inches, and nine inches, can I make a triangle out of that? Well, I guess you could get out a ruler and start drawing a triangle to see if it's possible, but you can use that triangle inequality theorem if you think about it a little bit to figure it out. Because, can you make a triangle? Because, because of the triangle inequality theorem, the sum of any two sides has to be more than that straight line. So up here, the sum of these two sides is more than that line. The sum of these two sides is more than that line. And the sum of these two sides is more than that line. So that's all the triangle inequality theorem is saying. So here, let's say that you have three sides that are this length, three inches, five inches, and nine inches. Well, I have graph paper here, so let me see if I can draw those lines out. I'll draw a three inch line, and then I'll draw a five inch line, and I'll just use one square of the thing. And then we have another nine inch line. Uh, and I, so I won't draw it as a triangle right now, but I'll just draw it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we turn that into a triangle? Well, let's look at the triangle inequality theorem. This side plus this side, three inches and five inches, that's equal to eight inches. That's, that's less than nine. So if you try to bend this up here, if you try to put this nine inch piece in here, it'll be too long. It can't form a triangle. So under the triangle inequality theorem, that one won't work. Because it doesn't fit this. What's the fastest way to get from point A to point B? Well, you want to go three inches plus five inches. You only have to walk eight inches. But if you go this other way, it's nine inches. So that doesn't make any sense. That's not going to be a triangle. Uh, but on the other hand, let's say we have three inches, four inches, and five inches. Can we make a triangle out of that? Uh, yes, we can. Because what you do is you just pair these up. What's three plus four? Three plus four is seven. That's more than five. What's three plus five? That's eight. That's more than four. And what's four plus five? That's nine. That's more than three. So that means that in this triangle, whatever pair of numbers you add up, the answer is always going to be more than the other side, the one that you did not use. That means that the sum of the two sides is always greater than the third side. So that's all the triangle inequality theorem is saying. Um, so uh, let's give another example. Uh, we'll give four, six, and eight. We have a triangle with four centimeters, six centimeters, and eight centimeters. So can we, uh, can we form a triangle out of those two line segments? Well, what you have to do is just pair up all the numbers. So you can do four plus six, you can do four plus eight, and you can do six plus eight. Those are all the combinations of two sides that you can come up with. And then you write down the other side. So we had four and six, the other side was eight. Four and eight, the other side was six. Six and eight. The other side was four. So you just go through all these and add them up. What's four plus six? That's 10. That is greater than eight. What's four plus eight? Four plus eight is 12. That is greater than six. What's six plus eight? That's 14. And that is greater than four. So here, all three of those, you have greater than signs in all three of them. And since they are all greater than, then the answer is yes, you can make a triangle because all those were greater. But if there was even one that was less than, then you could not form a triangle from that. So those were two pretty simple theorems. Remember, a theorem is just something that you can prove 
uh, with logic. And uh, when you get to 10th grade, you'll probably do that. Uh, we just covered the triangle inequality theorem, which says that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always more than that other side that you didn't uh, use in your sum. Uh, and the other theorem that we covered was the angle sum theorem. So no matter what triangle you have anywhere in the world, you add up the angles, and the angles are always going to add up to 180 degrees. So thanks once again for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you with future videos on math.doctor.net.